Well folks, we are out on the road today, Dakota and I. The Nashville thing did not really work out. My auditions kind of fell through. And so I'm not going to try to become a country singer. I thought I was really good. I practiced for almost an hour one day. I, you know, I had a good book. But anyways, we are going to the North Carolina Gold Festival. We're going to learn how to prospect for gold and maybe we're going to uh, become gold miners and make our fortunes in that way. Dakota is with me. <clears throat> Dakota is an excellent tracking dog and I figure maybe he can sniff out the gold. But in case you were wondering, North Carolina was the first big gold rush in the United States. That is why Fort Knox is in Tennessee because there was so much gold taken out of the Appalachian Mountains in the early part of the country's history that um, they needed a place to put it. And so we are going to the North Carolina Gold Museum Festival in Old Fort, North Carolina. And we are going to show you what it's like to uh, go to Gold Fest. Um, hopefully they'll have some big nuggets we can take home and uh, we'll pan for a couple minutes and make a couple thousand dollars and we'll find a new occupation and, and a new way to make money. God knows I'm not getting rich working. <laughs> so we'll see you when we get to the cold fest. Well, we are here. The official North Carolina Gold Festival. And they have quite a setup. Something for the kids. And then lots of stuff way over there. So here we have the museum. It's handicap accessible. It's a beautiful stone building. Typical museum, a lot of displays, a lot of information. Nicely air conditioned though. All about the settlers working with the Indians. That's a nice little organ there. Portable. And there's an upstairs. Hello, how are you? Hi. Hi, how are you? A little darker up here, as some of the typical museums are. Important thing to know. <laughs> You are going to make moonshine, which of course they called corn whiskey. Spirit of the mountains, of course. If you want the recipe for moonshine, there you go. Get it quick. Copy that down. You can pause. And there's all the parts of the still. <laughs> there's a... I wonder who they stole that from. There's 
It's a little cabin. It's a little dark, sorry for that. Now this is what I like. As a result of their close observation of the forest, the prehistoric people of North America developed a botany of considerable sophistication and utility. Food, medicine, fiber, and dyes were available for those who knew the ways of the plants. After about 1000 BCE, agricultural practices, particularly seed selection and plant adaptation, expanded further their knowledge of plant kingdom. And I know a lot of these, foxglove, wild ginger, uh, Joe Pie weed, uh, pleurisy root, butterfly weed, cohosh, wintergreen, snake root, stone root, golden ribwort. Nobody's saying that they're better than modern drugs but there are some things chamomile tea if you haven't had chamomile tea it's a lot of good stuff this is a very nice museum yellow lady slippers <laughs> used for childbirth I don't want that then bloodroot my brother and I used to find this used to treat warts found to be slightly toxic the outside has usual vendors and stuff. People have a lot of food over here. It must be good food. Beautiful river next to it. Now the question is, should I get food or face painting? <laughs> Some Crocheting. Thing it does in the river. In the rivers, the creeks, 
the gold goes down, especially the bigger piece, they're down at bedrock. It's the heaviest thing in the creek, so it's going to go down as low as possible. So if you think of the pan as bedrock, and all the dirt that's in there, that's all your rocks and mud, everything in the creek, and there's gold in it. By agitating it, and you got to have water in it, the uh, gold works its way to the bottom. And it's a matter of washing off all the lighter material. Normally what I would do too is screen all these big rocks out. Where I'm just really doing sand. Now this is the type of gold I typically look for. <laughs> No, I want to buy it. <laughs> they had some pretty severe thunderstorms here this last week. Big front come through and really did damage on their bridge. You can see the bridges pushed over and washed away some of their, they got a little amphitheater here for the museum. Cut through and undercut the bank and stuff so they got it under repair, but it's not safe to go down there. So folks, I think I watched that guy long enough to understand exactly how it works. We're now going to try our luck. Uh, we're, we have uh, relocated to the Lucky Strike Gold Mine and, and uh, Mining Company. So uh, they've got a pretty big operation going on here. I see a lot of people standing around probably getting rich. So I'm going to join in with their uh, activities. Um, so come on along, let's uh, see what we can find. Just gold. So this is the Lucky Strike Gold and Gems Panning and Mount Vane Campground. Okay, so they've got a gold festival going on today too, so we're going to check out theirs. And this is a real gold operation. You see a gentleman down there using a metal detector. And there's a gentleman behind these bushes that's panning for gold. Let's see if we can get a better look on him. There are also a lot of people here that are actually looking for gold. Here's some people with a sluice way. They put sand in a hopper and then run water over it and hopefully all the dirt and stuff washes away and the gold is left behind. We've got a real mill going here. It's really running on water too. It's not working anything though. It's just a just for show more or less. But you can see how they really were. I mean this this looks pretty authentic to me. You see the big gear in the middle? That would have run a stone or a wheel or a generator or whatever. Vendors and stuff here, same as the other one, but they got a big van that makes a lot of noise. So I don't know if you'll be able to hear me. You'll just have to enjoy the, the music. All the latest in, in prospecting equipment. Uh, metal detectors for sale, pickaxe, shovels, all sorts of stuff. This is about three times the size of the other one. <laughs> So if I come here, will I find myself off the river? So I made a little habit. 
little glass work here. This is pretty easy. All I gotta do is mix brown and clear and smash it just a little bit. Do a little shape. A boat I have to like do a lot of shape in, make it like angles and stuff. What? What gave you the idea to do this? <laughs> He's a tree guy. He's been in trees for 50 years. He's been climbing them. So now he's going to make them. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's the cheapest way to do it. The other way is these people are grinding them without the casing. Five times. 22 grams. Wow. And the pieces that they're mounted Those are about 15 by 22. Pretty cool. It's a fish. Can't more than just a bite that way. These are pretty. I'm gonna put you in a YouTube video. Oh, you got an address. I like that. You got a web page with these on them? We got some modern vehicles here for the mountains. D and E logging, been there, cut that. <laughs> Look at that. Nice looking vehicle. And it's a dump truck besides. I don't think that's a Western Star though. Look at these guys. Pulling them together. And a nice looking Chevy. Chevy trucks were good in the old days. These are people who buy a bag of potential gold sand and now they're going to try to pan them out. And this is the jewelry store. Look at this stuff. Ooh. Quartz yeah, crystals just like back home. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Have you got enough to quit your job yet? No, I gotta keep my job so I can keep doing this. <laughs> now there's the complete prospector's wagon there. That's your RV and prospector's stuff. That's what we got here Thursday. Oh nice. Yes. What do you do with it? Just keep collecting it until you got a bunch? Yeah, yeah. This is this turned into a daddy thing. Now it's a <laughs> family thing. As you see, my wife's now into it. My daughter, who's three, is around here somewhere. And your dog? <laughs> yeah, we, we had to bring him too. Uh, so, we found this woman who's going to sell me this abandoned mine on the side of this hill for just a thousand dollars. And it's known that it took out a lot of gold in the past. But the people who claimed it died, and now it's available for me. So we're going to do that. Dakota and I, we just got to get the, the water out of it, because right now it's flooded. But we think we can do that. So it's been good being with you folks. Uh, videos in the future as I, as I uh, wheelbarrow out all the gold. And uh, then uh, I probably will stop doing videos. But uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, we've uh, we might have more adventures, but I think this is my big break Thanks for watching. Bye